So, hello everyone. It's Dan from Dan's Foraging Adventures. And down here we've got Hidden and Rependum, or the Hedgehog Mushroom, Pierre de Mouton in French. Now this one for me has to be my absolute favourite one to eat. Beautiful flavour, quite a nutty like flavour to it, but before we get on to eating it, let's have a look at it all. Now the cap can have this sort of orangey colour, but it can also almost be pure white. Now I consider this to be the safest mushroom to forage for in the UK, because there is nothing toxic that has these features. This has spines instead of gills. And what I like to do with these is when I'm out in the forest is just give it a bit of a clean up, take these off because they will come off in the bag and they will go on all your other mushrooms. And I find these to be a bit bitter. And also this will encourage more growth again in the following year. You've also got a relative for this one called the terracotta hedgehog. It tends to be smaller. It's not quite as tasty as this one, but still a good edible all the same, but it has a more orangey red cap. And these grow in little clusters that you can see some here and then we've got a bigger one that's there you can see if there's any more here again i've got many videos that i've done on this one um it's another popular one in the restaurants but we we don't use in the restaurant so we don't call them by the english name we call them by the french which is pierre de mouton which means sheep's foot so in english hedgehog mushrooms which i think our name is far more apt because of the spines i don't know how that looks like a sheep's foot but hey hey but that's it thank you very much guys and enjoy some if we find anything else worth finding i do and please feel free to sort of join the group awakened foraging and healing and um, there you'll see a lot of what's being found plus many other different forms of trying to make your life better by healing yourself better um you can also go and check out dan's foraging adventures on facebook or www.dansforagingadventures.co.uk there you're going to find a, you know what events that i've got coming up and um in the new year, there's also